So welcome back guys. So today I just want to show you something else and that's my port of Super Tux Cart. Now uh, you may know this uh, 3D eraser and it's an older version. In fact it's the last version that still had a software renderer inside the source code and after that they revamped the uh, rendering engine and they completely removed software rendering so uh, yeah so we'll take a look at the funky port first uh, for some odd reasons this will not have any sound but it's, it will still work so And it does take a while, but after that, it should be uh, mostly okay. Alright, so... Uh, and there are quite a lot of glitches, in particular in the GUI menu. Because, uh, well, uh, I could fix that, but it would take me a lot more time. But uh, it's still uh, somewhat playable despite that. But uh, for the most part, only the story mode is playable. You can't actually select any track in a single play mode because the menu is just not adjusted. So, yeah. And the fun key does take a while to load stuff. But that's because it is constantly... Uh, running out of memory, but as you can see It's almost playable I would say And this is running at the native resolution at 16 uh, BPP And you know it does help but as you can see, there are quite a lot of graphical glitches. Even with the best settings in the software renderer, you will still get glitches like those and like these. But uh, yeah, uh, that thing as you, can, uh, as you can see here is, well, it's an issue with the software renderer. Uh, it was never actually tested with the software renderer from um, the graphical engine. But despite that, it does work. And some levels, like this one, are sort of playable. And this game uses OpenAL. And I thought that would maybe cause a few performance issues. But I'm using an older version of it, so performance is fine. Uh, and you can also look back. And it is indeed uh, fully uh, 3D. And you know, the uh, I believe it's called Ehrlich or something like that. It's a German word. Well, I'm probably not pronouncing it properly, but whatever. And that engine, uh, well, uh, it had a software renderer along with Direct 3D9 and OpenGL. And a few games, uh, including uh, this one, did use it. And you can exit at any time by pressing the uh, menu button. button. So now let's take a look at how the game Kitty Mini uh, runs the game. So uh, we'll go to the settings, make sure the CPU performance is set to max because it will need it. And this should load much faster 
because of the increased RAM, sure, but because also of the uh, increased CPU power. And does have sound. But if I increase it all the way up. But yeah, um, the Game Kitty Mini uh, runs it quite a fair bit better. But yeah, compared to the Funky S, it's not that different. In fact, it's quite similar. And uh, you may have noticed that the Funky does sort of narrow the uh the viewpoint so it doesn't try to cut off too many pixels well it does cut a few because you know but yeah so I believe you won't see any 3D games like this one on the game TV mini at least uh ones that will have this much detail on screen Well, a lot of uh, special effects and graphical stuff are missing, but it's still playable despite that. So this was a super tux card, and you can again exit with the menu button. And I also just want to show you an updated build of Sonic Robo Blast, and I've had to also fix the Open Dangus version of it, and now it should be working properly. In fact, I've tested it even uh, over HDMI, and it does work fine now. But I'll show you that uh, in a later video. Just want to show you the Game Kitty version. but I believe this build has the frame rate counter still uh, hold on oh no uh, doesn't only the open dangerous build uh, has the frame rate counter and that's because it was a bug that I forgot to fix but uh, even without the frame rate counter you can already see that it's running smoothly. In fact, uh, I may have shown you like a previous video about the GK Mini, and it didn't run that well, but now it's actually running quite smoothly. Uh, with the latest rendering changes So I can't wait for Xburst 2 Which should be uh, like greatly improved over Xburst 1 And Xburst 2 should also have much better multi uh performance So that's Pretty much it for now, and a super tux card will come eventually to open dangers, but I need to uh, fix the 3D renderer on that version because I won't use the software renderer for uh, devices that have a 3D GPU. It will be pointless, 
but uh, I need to use a GL for ES for that and trying to make it work is a bit of work so I hope you understand